This land never flowed with milk and honey. You were a witcher. That monster slave. That monster trouble. We're not having trouble. Work. Drink. Oh yeah, we're talking Battlefield 1 open beta. And if you plan on taking to the skies, this time around DICE has added a bunch of new features that change the air game entirely. Namely, the ability to change your vehicle's loadouts. So, let's take a look at some tips and tricks in becoming that ace in BF1's open beta. The first thing you'll notice when you hop in a plane are steep cliffs and canyons. Your initial reaction might be to avoid them, but hell no, baby. It's the best part about the Sinai Desert map. You don't have to outmaneuver a foe in a turning battle. Your ultimate goal in a dogfight is to be unpredictable and out of sight. Once you hug a canyon slope and are no longer in view, book it in the opposite direction. And if you're really feeling it, a chase weaving through the canyon typically results in someone crashing. In my opinion, the controller button layout is not working. Eject and reload should not be the same damn button. Return to the combat area. If you're on PC, I recommend changing these, putting reload to your right bumper. If you're on console, just make a conscious effort not to hold square or X. Just quickly tap to reload. Yes, reloading will happen automatically, yet it's not as fast as doing it yourself. And depending on the weapon, it's pretty essential you are reloading. Because with these new weapon loadouts, you'll want to have that heavy ammo at the ready. Always be reloading. But what exactly are you reloading? Well, let's take a look at which plane loadout is right for you. The fighters got two to choose from. There's the bomber killer that's rocking a heavier, slower rate machine gun, and then explosive rockets. The rockets are practically useless on ground armor, but bombers, well, those balsa wood frames wrapped in bed sheets absolutely love fire. It also comes with a speed boost letting you quickly flee to repair. And then there's the trench fighter, which is the only loadout that can harass the ground. Pop the spotting flare first into capture flags and swing back around for your strafing run. It's packing a burst fire of explosive darts that, when timed correctly, can wreck infantry. The first of the two bomber loadouts is Firestorm, an anti-infantry loadout that will carpet bomb large areas. And then there's the Torpedo Bomber, because nothing beats dropping a freaking torpedo into a goddamn sand dune. I'd stick to Firestorm or Barrage. Both loadouts come with a wing repair gadget, so be sure to have that option at the ready when things get hairy. Finally, there's the attack plane. The new loadouts include the airship buster. It comes with explosive rockets. They're, they're, they're great. Super, they're super useful. Get a load of the tank hunter. You want this, why? It's rocking a 57 millimeter nose cannon. Holy God, make sure you reload and have five shells at the ready because its cooldown is real slow. But my God, unlock this beast and you won't want anything else. Land a couple hits on a heavy tank and follow up with bombs, guaranteed kill. Granted, air to air combat is tough at first. You'll have to feel out where to lead shots, but again, one hit on a plane's engine will at the very least disable it. More often than not, it's a kill, but you will own everything. Infantry, horses, tanks, planes, bombers. Ah! Oh, get it! There you have it. Some tips to the open beta air game. Be sure to like and subscribe for more BF1 coverage. And as always, thanks for watching. Now get out there! <laughs>